Hi guys, welcome to another Aussie homesteading video. Um, in this video I'm going to show you how we set up a brooder. Um, really, it depends on the amount of chicks that you've got. Um, however, this has done um, about 30 chicks in the past and when they got to about a week and a half, two weeks, I moved them into another one just so that they had more space. But initially, being inside, it was a great one. Um, and it's just simply a pet carrier. Um, it's a large pet carrier, but um, I had to come up with it in a fix one night. Um, and I've, I couldn't use another brew that we had because we had, my children now had cats as pets. So um, this was a way of protecting the chicks and making sure that nothing could get, could get into them. And um, Troy was working away. So I went outside, got um, an old pet carrier and I had drilled a hole into one of the sides so that my power cord could fit through for the light. And I simply just drilled two little holes at the top and made, light a, made a duct tape rope so that it would hook down. And um, I don't know, I'll get the torch and see that you can see it in there. I mean, this was just a very simple setup and it's actually continuously lasted so you can see my little duct tape rope that I made there and I'll just leave that torch there so that you can still see a little bit and what I've done is I'd run down to Bunnings and I got um, an 80 watt red globe which had the hook on it hence why um, I made that little hook so now that we've got chicks again and because it's winter um, we're going to keep them inside for a while and we've only got eight so I think they could probably stay in here maybe even five weeks we'll see how they go so we just hang that down and I made the hole in the side which I'm going to try and just excuse me put through out. What's going on? What's going around the lamp? Okay. I'll just plug it in. lovely so I'll just show you how I set it up I'll just turn the light off for now it's probably a bit annoying but there is a light going on in there anyway um, I use sand just up towards the front the chicks will start to learn to scratch well really even even within five six hours of them being born they're learning to start to scratch it's instinct so up where I put food, which is up towards um, the front, I put some sand. And that will, of course, absorb some water if they happen to spill any water. Any seeds, which, well, they're grain. I shouldn't say seeds. They, they're, they will spread it. They'll walk on it. They'll whatever. And I just sink that a little bit. Have a little water feeder. And so any mess is kind of contained in the sand and easy... Um, to replace. And then I just have some bedding straw which I put down towards the back and I spread it out and they'll make themselves cosy in there. And I think the brilliant thing of doing the pet carrier is because it's so large they've got somewhere warm to be and they can come up here to cool down. So this is this has worked for me. Um, I have successfully raised maybe about six batches of chicks in here now, so I'm quite happy with the way it worked out. Um, and I have continuously used it um, ever since I came up with it, instead of putting them straight into the bigger brooders that we've got, mainly because of the cats. So now that we've got cats, that's it. Um, always protecting them. So I'm um, really happy with this. It's really... Um, Easy to open and close, whack them in. Now, I wouldn't be putting them in. I'm going to leave this on 
probably about 10 hours overnight and just to allow that straw to warm up. It's 80 watts, it's not going to make that straw go on fire or anything like that. Um, you know, it's just perfect. Um, I thought I'd share that because this, which we came up with in a really quick fix, um, actually turned out to be the best brooder, better than a store-bought brooder that I had. So I'm quite happy with it. It's strong, it's safe. Um, and, and you know, it's keeping the heat in on that bottom half, it's keeping air ventilation. Really, it's perfect. Hi, it's the next day. Um, I've put the chicks in the brooder. Um, they're happy, um, scratching through the sand, uh, making a mess of the food as they do, um, and loving their little brooder. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this uh, helps if you ever need to come up with a brooder in a pinch or even just as a practical brooder anyway. So in all honesty, um, I think this is the best brooder we've ever had. So um, if you have any questions, write it in the comments below. Um, and if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe and like this video if you like it. And we'll see you in our next video. See ya.